Assaults of the passions have shaken me. My soul to its limits has been filled with much despair. Bring peace, O maiden, in the calmness of your Son and your God, O blameless one. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, to God and the Savior you've given birth. I ask you, O Virgin, from the dangers deliver me. For now I run to you for refuge, with both my soul and my reasoning. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Disease is the body and the soul. Deem me truly worthy of divine guidance and your care. For you alone are God's mother, as a good and the birth giver of the good. The apps of the heavens are you, O Lord, fashioner, and the Holy Church is great founder, likewise establish me in constant love for you, for you the height of our longing, support of the faithful, the only friend of all. Most holy Theotokos save us, a protection and Support of the faithful, the only all praise one. Most holy Theotokos, save us. I entreat you, O Virgin, disperse the storm of my grief, and the soul's most inward confusion scatter it far from me. You are the bride of God, for you have brought forth the Christ, the Prince of Peace, O all blameless Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, having brought forth unto us the cause and giver of good. From your great abundance of kindness, pour forth upon us all, for all is possible for you who carry the Christ, who is mighty in power, you who are blessed of God. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. With most serious ailments and with a passion so dark, I am being tested, O Virgin, come and bring help to me. For I have known of you that you are without fail, the endless treasure of yours only a blameless one. at a Will County church appears to be dripping oil. More than 5,000 people have been anointed by the oil since July, especially after a news report about an extraordinary scene. An icon of St. John the Baptist appears to have myrrh oil coming from the image. Some parishioners say they have had miraculous health improvements after being anointed with the oil. Kathy Limber says she was diagnosed with leukemia. My numbers have just gotten better and I just have more energy and I just, I, I feel amazing. No one can explain it. Is it a miracle, an act of God, or is there some other explanation? Church leaders and parishioners say they are not going to question it. They and thousands of others who have come here 
are choosing to believe. Among the visitors here seeking healing, a nurse. I've seen myself that medicine family and God, that combination helps. Also a woman whose husband at age 56 is battling cancer for the second time. We are now dealing with leukemia. He is on three pills of chemo a day and it is taking the life out of him. Some of those visitors return. A man who says he is cancer free after touching the oil. Another claims a blockage in his artery has disappeared. It's a painting of the Blessed Virgin Mary and some say it can perform miracles. It's a miraculous icon that's performed many miracles. According to an Orthodox Church website, the painting has cured blindness and other serious illnesses. So that's why everybody's coming to be anointed. Clergy members say people don't worship the icon, rather they pray through it. An image of the Virgin Mary produces myrrh. There's no explanation for it. For those who believe, the holy myrrh is credited with helping cure a young girl diagnosed with a brain tumor. We prayed, we anointed her with myrrh and everything, you know, it was such a tragedy for the family. And she's a very pretty little girl, you know, suffering so much. This morning, KITV4's Jill Kuramoto shares with us the other miracle the faithful believe was brought forth through the icon. The young man who was carrying the cross, like in a cross in a procession, started venerating the icon after the priest. After he did, he just stood there. I can see, I can see. This boy was uh, playing football about a year before that, and um, his helmet came off, and he was hit in the back of the head, and he lost all the sight in one eye and 80% of the sight in the other eye. And he wasn't even anointed. All he did was kiss the icon. And he stood there for a little while, and standing over the icon, and the first thing he saw was the face of the mother of God and the Christ child, and everything began to focus after that. Before this boy's accident, his vision was 2030, 2040. His sight right now is 2015, 2015. He has perfect vision. That's one of many, many people who have been healed all over the country. But I think the greatest miracle, and there's a fundamental change in their soul, they want to become closer to God. So the Mother of God comes to us to show us that there is a way, there is a path. She has been to 300 churches in America. In October she, was over, she went to over 50 churches and monasteries in the East Coast. And uh, there were three or four priests that were anointing. They didn't expect the crowds and crowds and crowds of people. Wherever the myrrh streaming icon went, hundreds and thousands of the faithful would flock to venerate it and be anointed with the holy myrrh that poured from it. The paper icon is a scan of the original Montreal myrrh streaming icon of the Mother of God, which disappeared in 1997 with the martyrdom of its guardian, Brother Jose Munoz Cortes. The current icon was given as a gift to reader Nectarius Yangson, a parishioner of the Holy Theotokos of Iveron Church in Hawaii by his parish priest. In 2007, it filled the entire house with the smell of roses. The smell continued for several months until reader Nectarius discovered the icon covered in myrrh atop his bookshelf in October of 2007, the 10th anniversary of the martyrdom of Brother Jose. After the icon was declared a genuine miracle by His Eminence Kirill, Archbishop of San Francisco in Western America in June 2008, it began to travel to hundreds of parishes and monasteries in the United States. As I gazed at the image of the Heavenly Queen, as I saw the faces of the people surrounding her, no doubt remained in my heart, as there may once have been, owing to my own weakness, as to whether or not I were on the right path. Even our parishioners in the beginning, they look at it and say, there ought to be a good scientific explanation for this. Uh, well, you know, in other words, they're saying that they have a strong belief in science. You know, a lot of beliefs. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they don't hear. Several copies has begun giving myrrh. There were two paper prints, two at a Greek Orthodox church in uh, Fresno that were streaming for many months. Three that we gave to a monastery in uh, New York City called the Mercy House, a monastery under Father Joachim Parr. They started streaming, in fact, they had them in a bowl, which was very interesting, and the middle would drip into the bowl. There are icons in Pennsylvania that uh, have been giving myrrh as well. 
uh, copies that we've given to some people, other icons in California, throughout the country, icons that have been touched to this icon of the Mother of God, this holy icon. Heal me from the ills which the passions bring most pure one. Make me worthy of your guiding care. And unto me grant help through your intercessions and your prayers. My petition I pour out to the Lord, and to Him I will confess all my sorrows. For many woes fill my soul to its limits, and unto Hades my whole life has now approached. Like Jonah I pray to you, O God, now raise me from corruption. Fervently we cry to you, Theotokos, our Lady, come to us and from all O Lord, I have heard of the wondrous mystery of your salvation. I have contemplated all your works, and I have glorified your great divinity. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Still the darkest of passions, calm the sea of errors in your great peacefulness. It was you who bore the guiding Lord, and you who Most holy Theotokos, save us, your depth of compassion, grant unto me as one beseeching you. You have carried the compassionate one, the Savior of those praising you. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We are thankful for all the gifts which we have been given by you, the spotless one. And to you we sing a hymn of praise, knowing you to be the Mother of God. Now and forever, and to the ages of ages, amen. As a hope and foundation, and a wall and shaking of our salvation, we have you, the allotted one, and from afflictions you rescue us. Lord, that can guide our lives and with your arm most powerful. Grant to us your peace, O you who are the friend of all. Most holy Theotokos, save us. From death and corruption he has saved, my nature held by death and corruption. For unto death he himself has surrendered, for which reason, O good 